it all comes it becomes a win-win right. know, cus- customers happy even though they had to deal with it they feel good about the experience mm-hmm. want to give you a, you know a great review and you've made more money mm-hmm. you know it's it's, it's that and simple ho- and hopefully want a customer right so, there you go Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 361st episode of Potty Talk. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, where we're talking the business of plumbing, how to systemize, stylize, and monetize your plumbing business. Hey, and we, we've had a great series here. Mm-hmm. We're, at, we're yeah. at now on our, we're doing a series here, a five-part mm-hmm. series, mm-hmm. all right, of things you can do, simple things. Mind you, simple mm-hmm. things you can do right now today to make more money with your plumbing business today. Oh, all right. Today. Okay. okay so yes. you don't you don't have to, you know, this doesn't take a lot of money or time or, you know, some mm-hmm. kind of skill you got to learn. You just put these things in place and just watch the money show up in your bank. Mm-hmm. OK. And thank us. Right. Okay, and right. give us 10 percent cut. <laughs> yeah. There we go. <laughs> yes. Or just uh, just hang out with us, okay? okay All right, that's good too. Okay, mm-hmm. no, that's what we want for you. You know, we spent. Hey, th- this is thirty years. Okay, so you're not that old. I, you know, I know. I don't feel that. Old. I know. I know. Mm-hmm. At times it does. Mm-hmm. Okay, but thirty years in the industry. Okay, I've done it all, seen it all, heard it all, been it all. Oh, I mean, everything from the new gimmick stuff to all to the different ways of selling all the kind of. You come down. You do these simple things. Right. It's all super right. simple. All right. You'll, you'll have the, the plumbing business that uh, is just providing you the life that you desire. You know, We, te- we tend to be the ones to try to overcomplicate it because yes. it's got to be complicated right. or more people would do it. I- exactly. And that's the thing. Mm-hmm. You know, when things aren't going, well, yeah, it's always, we, we make it complicated. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's okay. This, this is, there must be a secret. Okay. They, they know this. This is the secret. This is the secret. No, it's just doing these simple things. Mm-hmm. Trust us. Okay. All right, so what's what are we on this time? What are, yes. What's a simple thing you this can is do? Part number four. Well, part number four. Well, before I get to that, I better I better oh. I better simply uh, thank our sponsor here. Oh. <laughs> or mention our sponsor for this episode. <laughs> that would be a good idea. Okay. All right. <laughs> hey, finding the right digital marketing company for your plumbing business that can actually get the phone to ring with good customers can be pretty frustrating, right? Uh-huh. It is pretty frustrating. Whatever you say, baby. Thankfully. There's Camp Digital. Camp Digital uses their patented software in concert with the proprietary processes and strategies to create capacity-managed marketing. As your call volume and needs fluctuate, Camp Digital's capacity and marketing platform immediately resets offers to match your current situations and needs, saving ads and resources for when and where you need them most. Bottom line, Camp Digital makes the phone ring and saves you money. To learn more about this best-in-class digital marketing company and to take advantage of special discounts just for Potty Talk listeners, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash camp. That's themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash camp and plumb like a champion. And just to clarify, digital, what is it? Camp Digital. Camp Digital. Used to be home and local services. Right. So... Same great company, all the things they just they had a major name change. Right, um, because they're fun. I like it. They're a fun group of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, fun. they're fun, mm-hmm. and um, they're into it, and uh, they, they do a great job. Yeah. And so the, that is, the name is fitting. Yes. You know? So if you've heard us mention home and local services before in some of the other past podcasts, um, and now you're like, well, who's this Camp Digital? Right. Same people, new name. Same all great that. people. Mm-hmm. New brand spanking name. new brand and brand yep. spanking new brand. It's fun. All right. <laughs> Camp Digital. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. Check them out. All right. <clears throat> Part four. Hey, check out this. What can you do right now? Mm-hmm. Okay. What is something you can do right now to make more money with your plumbing business today? Okay. okay. And what is that? Okay. Present task options. Okay. Present tax task options. Okay. Task. All right. Give your customer choices. What? Okay, this this thing of um, you know um, broke fix going in there and giving them just the one, you know the one the one I you know whatever that right. kind of a thing that's that's you're losing money there. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right, because what, what what's happening here at least to, to our first thing the reason why you want to give uh, task options okay. well it gives gives your customer control. Mm-hmm. Okay, it gives the customer control. Look. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. <laughs> Is anyone getting sick of me saying that? I'm going to say, I'm that's going to be on my tombstone. <gasps> All right. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. You know? <laughs> Here lies the lovely Laura's husband and no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call, call a plumber. plumber. All right. <laughs> and get comfortable being uncomfortable. Yeah. Right. <laughs> 
So get comfortable <laughs> with knowing that no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber, okay? So they, they are, but they called you, okay? But they called you, and they're feeling out of control, Okay, because now they're dealing with this plumbing problem. They got to got to fix their day. Where to get back? And they're not sure what's going to happen. So the bottom line is they're feeling out of control. So when we go in there and just go right to it and say, "Okay, you got to spend a million dollars to to fix this," I mean that's what they hear. Right. <laughs> okay. That, that's that's what they hear. Mm-hmm. All right. It is no. Okay. They just they, they don't want to do it. Right. Okay. Because you painted them in a corner. Right. You painted mm-hmm. them in a corner because the customers our customers are used to having choice. Aren't you used to having choice? I mean, when you go, go shopping for a TV, you, know, you go to Walmart, there's not just one TV. And they say, here's a TV. And that's all you get. Right. There's nothing. You know, you go to Taco Bell. It's not, okay, <laughs> there's, there's your taco. All right. There's nothing in our experience. You go to the car wash and huh. they have a good, better, best um, suds, lots of suds or super duper suds. Right. right? Good, Ex- better, best. You get to pick. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You want to provide the customer choice. Mm-hmm. And, you, and you just hit on it, sweetheart. Yes. It's very good. We are a good, better, best society. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's the Goldilocks syndrome. Okay. <laughs> this one's too small. This one's too big. This one's just right. Just right. Okay. We like, we like that. We feel comfortable with mm-hmm. that. And a comfortable customer is a buying customer. So we want to make Mrs. Jones feel comfortable. And the way to make her feel comfortable is by presenting task options, mm-hmm. giving her choice. Okay. Now, as you said, good, better, best. Mm-hmm. Three choices, okay? Not two, not four, seven? not seven, <laughs> not, not four, and then our super-duper special offer of the day, okay? <laughs> Nothing like that, okay? I want to go into the how that, that you know, guys can't sell, and we'll get into selling, and it just freaks the customer out, okay? We lose the customer. The customer's already sold. When they call us, they're already sold. We tell the customer to take a hike <laughs> is what happens. We freak the customer out, right. okay? By, again, not providing options, Mm -hmm. choices. Okay. And then we provide too many choices and we come across as, well, you're just trying to sell me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll I'll get to that. Have you been to a restaurant where you've got so many choices on the menu? Cheesecake factory. I always think of cheese. I don't know if you guys have cheesecake factory, but cheesecake factory um, menu is about 87 pages and it goes on and on. And what happens because I'm overwhelmed because we, that's where we typically go on Christmas Eve with our kids, have for years. A little bit um, of family inside yeah. there, right? Okay. <laughs> um, but I almost always go with the same thing because I just, I'm overwhelmed by the choices. Well, so. by the time I look at it, I'm almost not even hungry anymore. Let's leave. <laughs> and, and that's, and that's, and we want to be there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now we're dealing with a customer that plumbing. doesn't want you there and it's plumbing. Mm-hmm. And so that's when you get, well, I need to talk with my husband or I'm just getting prices. Mm-hmm. All right, because they're overwhelmed, right. okay? Yeah, so too, too many I, choices is bad. At, at the first part, and probably part of in there is too, is we, you know, we're trying to be salesmen, mm-hmm. and you know, we come across as selling, and then that's, that's not received well at all. Right. Okay, so mm-hmm. you want to give the customer a choice. Mm-hmm. But also with that, with mm-hmm. giving the choices, it, you know, we kind of touched on this, it gives, it gives Mrs. Jones something to say no to. Now, I know that sounds you know, phew, you know, weird or whatever, blows your mind. Well, they called, you know, doesn't she want to get things done? Well, no, really, she wants to say no. Everything inside of her is screaming to say no because she's looking to have control. She's out of control, now wants to be in control, mm-hmm. okay? And the greatest way to be in control is to say no, mm-hmm. okay? So by giving their three choices, now there's something to say no to. Mm-hmm. So and she gets to pick. Right. She's in control. That's mm-hmm. the key right there. Yes. Okay? And a customer who feels like is in their control is a buying customer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just like when you go, again, if you use the TV analysis. Um, analogy. Wal- right analogy. Now. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I knew that was the <laughs> wrong word when I said it. Um, when you go, at, when you've got all the TVs, you see the great big super duper 84 inch. Right. Uh, right. Um, and then you've got the other choices. More than likely, just because you have choice, you're, you'll um, typically pick the middle. Doesn't everybody? I mean, then we find that. Um, that you pick the middle. But it, it's choices. You, get, you can see all. And then you're the one in control. It's not like, again, like the sales rep comes up and says, you have to get right. this dinky little TV because we're pretty sure that's all you can afford. Right. And this is all we have. And right. this is what you need. Mm-hmm. All those kinds of things. Yeah, it's your like, house no. isn't that big. Right. You don't, need a ha- you don't need a TV that's 84 inches. Right. <laughs> well, what was it? Even recently, I, I mean, in my home here, I had uh, the, the plumber out. Remember I had just a test? You know, I don't <laughs> do my own plumbing. Story. Okay. And I had, had the plumber out. And it had no hot water. Right. And, of course, I, te- I knew what was up. Okay. Mm-hmm. I just, 
And the water is not very old, but the water is. <laughs> you do not have the tools to do it. Well, I don't even have to get rid of the tools. <laughs> I think the second plumber I, that we I, hired. I, I burned the plumbing ship. Yeah. <laughs> the second, <laughs> second plumber we hired, Richard's like, Mom, the tools right. are gone. I don't right. know what happened to them. And, um, <laughs> but, you know, I told him I wanted, you know, I wanted the water heater rebuilt. And he said, Oh, you don't want to spend the money to do that. <laughs> Oh, you don't want, you don't want to need that. We just need to replace mm-hmm. re- replace the uh, the top element, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> and it's like, and I knew I knew that's what what needed more than that, you know. Right. And you're thinking, oh man, the owner of the company, company is right. If he knew, if only he knew, right. And then what happened? Right. What happened was, um, yeah, few days late, a few days later, mm-hmm. I was out of hot water again, mm-hmm. and, and they had to come back and, and do back. right, rebuild the water heater, right, right. So, and we were frustrated because then it took more time. Right. right of a, out of our day, we lost hot water again. We get up in the morning to take a shower, no hot water. Right. So yeah, <laughs> that was a right. um, kind of a sickening sto- story or when it happened to right. just knowing. And I'm, I'm surprised because this was a, a, b- a bigger company, yeah. and I chose them for a reason. I believe they were a next star company, mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. I just wanted to see. A, we so know they, they, so were they had all the training, yeah. all the they had all mm-hmm. the everything in place, mm-hmm. but they didn't provide options. Mm-hmm. Didn't provide options. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, all, all right. right. That's so, a good one. all right. Co- gives <coughs> gives customer control. Okay. Next, mm-hmm. alluded, and you kind of alluded to this. Okay. Mm-hmm. By giving by giving the options, it gives price perspective. Mm-hmm. The thing of what, do people favorite. usually go for the middle one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Typically. There's a there's a reason there's mm-hmm. a reason why. Yeah. Okay. If we go with just one, no matter what it is, you could say, "Well, it's fifty dollars to do the fifty dollars." I don't make fifty dollars. That's, That's highway right. Ridiculous. Because no one wants to spend money on plumbing, <laughs> and they don't have any. Um, anything to compare it to. Compare it to, right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Price perspective is one of my favorite things um, to to teach on because we experience that in, in real life. Right. We, we just do. Um, again, if we go back to the analogy of the TVs, you're looking at the big 84-inch, and it's, I don't know, $2,000, right? And you, you were thinking, man, I'll probably, I'm going to come in and spend, I don't know, 1000 bucks on a TV. You see the 84-inch TV, and it's $2,000. You're like, whoa, that's really expensive. And then you look at the one that's, 55 inches and it's 1200 like oh well that doesn't 1200 1200 is not too bad right right, right. When, really, that's not that, when really you really only wanted to spend a thousand but because you saw the 2000 the 1200 doesn't seem so bad and then you look at one that's i don't know 40 inches and it's 800 well gosh that's cheap right i 1200 i can do 1200 exactly mm-hmm. so now, now you have you're, the price perspective right now you're in the ballpark i mean mm-hmm. um Car dealers and, and um, real estate, you know, realtors, it, they do this all the time. Mm-hmm. What are you looking to spend? And they always show you more than what you're looking always, to spend. Always, And the always, reason always. is not necessarily that they think they're going to get you into that, that house. Mm-hmm. It's, it's price perspective to get you used to those numbers and seeing, you know, okay, this is going to give you this kind of fix and mm-hmm. this kind of warranty and that kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. So it, it, it helps your mind. So even if you come back – even just spending again the repairs a thousand dollars or whatever, mm-hmm. now all of a sudden that doesn't seem as high. Correct. Okay. Yeah, all I right. remember some of the um, shows on HGTV back when I used to watch, you know, the HGTV shows mm-hmm. and the realtors, and they take people to go, you know, see the houses. And I'm trying, mm-hmm. was it House Hunters International something or something like that? Like right. that. And their budget was whatever eight hundred thousand. Well, I'm going to just show you this one house. It's a little bit out of your budget. $2 you know, million. Dollars $2 million. On the side, right. Right. Well, then all of a sudden, a house that's around maybe 1.2 right. didn't sound so bad, and they're buying the one for, for 1.2. So it's pay, start paying attention to, to those types of things. You really will notice um, once you start doing it and once you're aware of it that it happens all the time. Price perspective is huge because it's a human, it's a human thing. Right. So okay. and it has nothing to do with plumbing. So that's another thing. That's how, you know, by providing these options and – you're giving the customer control and, and then pr- price perspective. You know, you're going to see your average tickets go up. I mean, definitely. Right. And you're you know, going to have a happy, making more money. And right. you're going to have a happier customer. Right. Because you've provided them options. You're providing them all the information and then they can make an informed decision um, that works best for them. Right. Right. Which is what you want. Right. Again, you don't want to paint the customer the customer into a corner. It all comes it becomes a win win. You know, right. cu- customers happy even though they had to deal with it, they feel good about the experience. Mm-hmm. They want to give you a you know, a great review, and you've made more money. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's, it's that and simple. Hope, and hopefully want a customer. Right. So There we go. Okay. All right. Hey, before Price I get on to the, the final thing, which is key, mm-hmm. all right, I, I want to mm-hmm. share something with you here. I have my Million Dollar Plumber blueprint, mm-hmm. all right? In it, I lay out all the specs you need to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Look, 
you know, you wouldn't plumb a house, all right, without a blueprint, with, you know, giving you the specs that you need, all right? It'd be a waste of time and wasted money, all right? So why are you doing that with your plumbing business? All right, grab my blueprint. Did I mention it's free? Okay, mm-hmm. it's free, except for my 30 years of experience, okay? Very <laughs> good. All right, use that, okay? I want you to have that, mm-hmm. okay? Give you that, th- those insights, okay, in, in those specs, all right? So grab it, all right? Simply go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free, mm-hmm. And grab your free copy today. Uh-huh. All right, do it. Okay, before all we right. dive back in, once again, I want to remind everybody, we are on all the social media channels, so get out there and follow us. Our channel name is The Million Dollar Plumber. We're, we're everywhere. We're on all, all the places and do fun little reels yeah. and videos and other business tips and tricks and strategies. Yeah, um, even come hang out with us at, uh, we even have a, um, a private you know, a free, free um, uh, Facebook group page. We you know, do the call plumbing. the Plumbing Business Success Group. It is a free um, six, uh, success group. It is a free Facebook group for plumbing business owners. There's nothing but plumbing only. business owners in Correct. there. It's great conversations. I hang out there. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's just a great place to learn from others who aren't right. in competition. Right. And you know? I would. I, I know we probably haven't mentioned this for a little bit, but I would really recommend going out and joining this group. Again, it's free, and it is only plumbing business owners. Um, some of the other plumbing groups that are out there, we've we've seen them. Um, and it's, it's plumbers just kind of talking crap and smack or whatever. If you're, if you're a plumbing business owner, get away from all that. Hang around with other plumbing business owners who are trying to grow if, if you're looking to level plumbing up, business. All right. You, you got to be around others who are looking to do the same thing as you. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and looking to grow, not right. just talk about plumbing because it, right. it ain't or show about pictures plumbing. Of plumbing. Your success, the success of your plumbing business has very little to do with plumbing. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we don't need to look at pictures of plumbing and talk plumbing and this kind of stuff. You know, we got to get and into And how you would have done this drain right. or how you would have done blah, blah, whatever. Right. No, focus on your plumbing business. business. Yes. Okay. So okay. Um, also at the start of the show, I don't know if you said Potty Talk Live. Um, for some of you that may maybe just started following us. No, I don't, I don't <laughs> I for years I've been saying Potty Talk Live. <laughs> right, we've had our, our podcast was Potty Talk Live because we used to do it on Facebook and YouTube. We'd go live um, for 353 episodes, yeah. right? So now we're, we're going more to a t- um, traditional podcast format. So now it's just called Potty Talk. So if you do hear us say Potty Talk Live, forgive us. Give us yes. some grace on that <laughs> as we grace. go right. through the transition. Uh, anyway, okay, okay. so n- today we are talking about... You know, how you can make, what you can do, a simple thing you can do right now mm-hmm. to make more money with your plumbing business we're today. In part four okay. of our series. And that's present task options. Mm-hmm. By doing so, it gives, as we learned, it gives the customer control, mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, provides a very important thing, price perspective. My favorite. Okay. All right. And finally, all right, I want you, when you're presenting task options, you need to stay in the lane. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do I mean by that? Okay. I want to stay in the lane. This is very important. This is, this is a sales key. You don't need salesmen. We try to, I think we need all these special sales Mm -hmm. techniques and all this kind of, that's all, you don't need that. Okay. Um, I've seen it for 30 years, done, done it all, done it all. Look, the guys will gladly listen to the guy talk sales and what you can do and this and that because they get the free breakfast or the lunch or whatever <laughs> and they'll, they'll, because you're paying them and the smile. The reality of it is one out of 10 guys is going to be able to sell and do whatever just naturally because they're a natural salesman. Right. Most guys, don't, spend, don't, don't waste your time trying Those to make plumbers. salesmen out of your plumbers. Mm-hmm. Okay, give them the, this, these, these resources, okay, um, or this system, okay? And this one system is presenting task options, okay? And we're going to give options. And no more than three options, good, better, best, okay? All right? And we're going to stay in the lane. And I'll right. get what I mean by that in a moment here. But let me okay. finish out because this is very key, too. When you're okay. providing options, all right, you want to tell them the good option is what the broke fix repair would be. Okay. The reason that they called you the in re- the first place. That's where you earn the trust of Mrs. Jones. Mm-hmm. Okay, don't go trying to sell the super duper softening, you know, fix all your water lines machine, okay, and then we'll throw in the fix for free and all that other BS. Mm-hmm. Okay, you guys can't do it. You're wasting your time trying to train you guys to do that stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, do you feel me going over that? Because I just have seen it for years and years and years. Mm-hmm. Okay, earn Mrs. Jones's trust by telling her why she had to, her day was disrupted and had to call you out. Okay, and she already is going to buy. So tell her what the problem is. Right. That's the good. Okay, mm-hmm. so, so using an analogy. So, um, well, Mrs. Jones, that that tinkly sound you've been hearing at night that's keeping you up. That's really it's your flapper here. Your your flapper is just just been you know it's 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 corroded and and you know it's just you see it's rippled here and it's lying water 
you know, in here, and that's the tinkling sound. So here's what it is to take care of that, okay? Your next option, okay, what you want to, that's the good. The next thing you want to provide Mrs. Jones, the better, all right, is a, a upgraded repair, okay? So in this case, all right, we're staying in the lane, within the lane, all right, within the toilet, okay? The toilet lane. Within the toilet lane, all right? Uh, well, Ms. Jones, but, you know, I may recommend here also, I'll give you a price here for what, uh, doing what we call a minor toilet rebuild, replacing the flapper and the fill valve. That's this thing right here. All right. A lot of these times, you know, they go out together. You know, the one's going out, the other's going out too. You know, it's more cost effective to replace them both at the same time. And since I'm here. And sin- okay. Mm-hmm. And you can do it. All right. Well, since that, I'm here. Yeah. You know, getting it done all at the same time instead of having me come back out. Exactly. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then your best is always going to be a replacement. Okay. And within the lane. Okay. So in this case, it'd be the toilet. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Mrs. Jones here, you know, I, you can see what, you know, you can put the money in it with this, but also, yeah, you can have worry free war- warranty and get everything covered and get you in a new toilet for this. I okay. see your toilets fill in the blank years, right. you know, seven, 10 years, whatever it is. Now, Mrs. Jones, may be thinking, well, I know you want me to, you'd like to sell me your toilet, but I'm not going to buy the toilet. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to go with, uh, okay, I'll do the minor rebuild. And that's what happens time and time and time again. Mm-hmm. Some go with the toilet. Okay. There are a percentage, 20, 30% will go with the toilet. Okay. Um, but what mo- most importantly, what's happening is Mrs. Jones, by staying in, within the lane, Mrs. Jones isn't thinking, oh, you're just trying to sell me. Mm-hmm. She understands why you're offering a toilet. It makes sense. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, for, you know, an example would be, um, you know, we know, okay, you've done, you know, the test of the house or whatever and say that the, the pressure is high in the house, all right? And you come right out of the chute and offer Mrs. Jones, hey, your pressure in the house is very high. I think, you know, we should replace the pressure reducing valve and here's how much that costs. That blows Mrs. Jones out of the water because mm-hmm. she doesn't understand mm-hmm. how that has to do with the toilet, mm-hmm. okay? Even though, though you're talking, she thinks you're just, that's just sales talk. You're mm-hmm. just trying to sell her. Right. Okay. So that's what I mean by staying within the lane. Right. And okay. again, going back to the price perspective, if you've offered a, a flapper replacement, if you've offered a rebuild and, the, and a toilet, the price of the toilet is whatever, 800 bucks, a thousand bucks. Right. Um, then now the cost of the flapper or the rebuild doesn't seem as high. If you've got a rebuild for what, three, 400 bucks. Right. That doesn't seem as bad because you, right. you, she sees right on the tablet, hopefully right on the tablet what um, the three prices are. Right, mm-hmm. exactly. So, you know, and well, I, I used the example in an earlier episode uh, talking about, about these things. Uh, I use a flapper example where the flapper may be like $250. Mm-hmm. Well, a flapper replacement by itself for $250, that's a lot. I mean, yeah, it seems like by itself, all by itself, mm-hmm. even, I mean, that's high. Mm-hmm. But we've included all of our time. Mm-hmm. You know, you go back and check that episode out. I think it was the last or the one before mm-hmm. or whatever of how we're including all of our time, how right. important that is, mm-hmm. okay? But so that by itself sounds high, but seeing a flapper for two fifty, a minor toilet, you know, rebuild for three seventy nine, and then a new toilet, you know, nine hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, that two fifty doesn't seem as high. Right. Again, okay. again, price perspective is one of my favorite things. It, really start paying attention when you go to the store, when you go to Walmart, or you go um, even to um, uh, the movies or something, and you're getting the big bucket of popcorn versus you know the small or the the drink size or whatever. Really pay attention to how things are lined up to give you price perspective. Right. That, 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 is, that is kind of a, a silver bullet or, a, you know, a, a special pill, mm-hmm. you know, magic pill or whatever. It, that's not sales training. You get your guy. I've, I've seen guys that could barely speak working with the tablet, mm-hmm. you know, on Service Titan or whatever, and then going through the, the options and just grunting things out and, and, and selling, you know, having average tickets that are 1200 bucks and mm-hmm. just being great, great salesmen. Right. And it's not them selling. Mm-hmm. Mrs. Jones has already sold. It's just how we present things. Right. Okay. And yeah, you built those plays out for them. And so, so they can we get in the way by, by getting out of the lane. Staying in the lane is so important. Mm-hmm. Th- this thing of trying to sell our water softener, you know, yeah, we'd love to sell all these big ticket things. Of course. Or there's another thing out there where you, 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 know, you sell down to sell up. Mm-hmm. So in this case, like the toilet thing, we would have offered the toilet first. Right, and then the, and the sell down to sell up. So we would have said, well, up. here, no. you know, the first option they would see was, well, we can put you in a new toilet for blah, 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 blah. Immediately, and the customer's like, whoa. You're try- whoa, are you whoa, trying whoa, to whoa. Sh- Right. Yeah. Okay. So the, o- the other way just works. It just right. does. It works. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, by, by doing this, just working this, 
you know, in fact, in the academy, I'm, I'll bring up the, you know, the academy, we have the sell and made easy module, you know, and with, with our, by doing this simple thing, you don't have to sell all this selling stuff is not necessary. It's not necessary. Yeah. I'll go. <laughs> it's not necessary by using this simple system and staying with it, staying with it. You know, we had a 97.8% closing rate, 98, mm. you know, 98%. Mm. I mean, because the customer's already sold. Right. Okay. And we but, see success with our, our private coaching clients as well as people in the academy. So. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's presenting task options, giving mm -hmm. that customer control. Mm -hmm. Okay. Giving her price perspective. All oh, that is such a, that is a magic pill mm -hmm. right there. Price perspective. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then staying in the lane. Right. And not to say, with well, the staying in the lane, not to say that you can't offer the customer something later. Um, something you may have noticed, like the high water pressure or something. Once the customer agrees to whatever, you know, good, better, best, whichever one she picks, you know, get the repair done and then talk to with her when you're finished and say, also, just to let you know, here's something that I noticed, blah, 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 blah. If you're interested, I can um, give you some some prices on getting this taken care of, but wanted to let you know that this this could cause you an issue. Right. You know? That's after you get Mrs. Jones to open the wallet on this. Right. Okay, we, we learned that. That's mm -hmm. the thing. You know, when, when you have multiple things or just like in our inspection, we found out there's high water pressure. Mm -hmm. Don't hit her up about the high water pressure in the fix now. Right. And, and giving her options now because she just believes she's going to be selling her. Mm -hmm. Hit her up for why she called you out. Correct. Give her that. Get her, you know, make her comfortable. Mm -hmm. She'll open a wallet there. Mm -hmm. Then you can come back around and say, well, my inspection, I noticed you have high water pressure. Right. I want to give you some options to fix that. There's Correct. a reason why you want to fix that. Mm -hmm. And then. Same right. kind of a thing. And obviously, you don't want to sell the customer something they don't um, need. Well, yes and no. I mean, again, if they don't have a water softener, they may not, they maybe just have never thought about a water softener or something. So you certainly can offer the customer something that they don't have that might be helpful because you are the professional in their house. Right. You are now, you're the professional, not them. So if you're noticing, man, everything's limed up and their toilet and, you know, the faucets and all the things is lim are limed up because they don't have a softener, talk to the customer about it. After. 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 Afterwards. Don't mention it on, right. on the front end. But it's like the doctor, you know, if you go to the doctor and, you know, you go in just for a, a sniffly nose and he treats you for the sniffly nose, but while, while he's checking your heart, he knows his, mm, something's kind of wrong with the, your heart's, you know, beating a little funky. He would be remiss at, at best. Right. Um, and not mention it, mention it to you, right? right? So same with you. If you're in the house and you notice there is an issue with something else, um, or there's a service that you could provide that would help the customer's um, plumbing, offer it after, 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 after. after. Mm -hmm. But stay in the lane mm -hmm. with your options. Correct. For what you... Simple, easy thing. For what she called you out for. And you'll notice uh, the money adding up in the bank. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. These are simple things you can do. Right. It's very simple. I know. Okay. So well, if it. you've listened to all four so far, and we've got one more, um, one more in the series that we'll be right. doing um, next week. Um, you've probably made a lot of money with your plumbing business. I'm thinking you do. You do these five things, mm -hmm. and it's it's a no brainer. Yep. And and it's just sticking sticking with it. It's doing it. Mm -hmm. It's doing it every day every in, call every, day out every job day in mm -hmm. day out. Um, there's a reason why on the shampoo bottle it says wash, rinse, rinse repeat. repeat. Right. Because it's that simple. This is how you use the product. You wash, rinse, repeat, and it have is. the most success. We make it complicated. Mm -hmm. And and sadly, also, some of us gurus out here make it complicated because it... It, it benefits it, them. Right. Complication sells. Mm -hmm. All right. I can I can hit you for more money or ask you, I mean, or you got to, you know, makes it sound more important and all right. that. Important. Um, but... It, mm. So go make more right. money with your plumbing business. There Doing we go. these. All right. Okay. And if you truly desire to make more money with your plumbing business, mm -hmm. and, you know... Or looking to level up, you need to check out my Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy, okay. all right, where we teach the business of plumbing everything you need to know. We walk you through it. We show you. There's over 150 videos. It's crazy. Okay, covering yes. everything from figuring out your hourly rate to the right customer. Um, there is a right customer, by the way. Mm -hmm. Uh, the right marketing, the right, the right sales techniques. The right way to answer the phone. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Even to the, the what I consider the boring stuff, the right kind of accounting to have in place. <laughs> the numbers you, the numbers you need to, the only numbers you need to look at. You don't need all this other fan. You know, mm -hmm. the stuff that you, know, you can really tell whether you're making money or not right now. Okay. Everything's there for you. Mm -hmm. All the branding, all everything's there. Okay. And you can try it on for free. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have a 14 day free trial. I make it easy for you because brother. I really want to get this into your hands, okay? I want you to be successful, if you want to be successful. You know, there's a saying in the Navy, you can't push a man up a rope. Mm -hmm. 
So, I mean, there's, you know, and there's a lot of entrepreneurs out there. Correct. Okay. Um, but if, you know, if you're truly serious, you, you got to know these things. Okay. All right. It literally can cut, um, you know, save years. you years and save you, you know, thousands, if not millions of dollars. Right. Okay. All right. You can figure this out over time. Um, sadly though, we talked a lot that don't, you know, I talked to a lot of guys pushing my age mm -hmm. that, you know, knees they, are going, backs going. Yep. And, have no, and have nothing to show truck, for it still. other than, you know, they go on some vacations and they got a house and a pool and whatever. Still's not there anymore. And also right. with the success Academy, we do offer three different levels. So depending on what your commitment level is, you can choose either apprentice journeyman or master level. Right. Um, yeah, and it's all explained down on our website. So all right, go, go check it out. The million dollar mm -hmm. forward slash success. Okay. Okay. And, uh, grab your free 14 day trial. So there okay. we go. Good. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. Present task options, okay? That okay. alone almost will just, you know, wa watch the money show up, yep. okay? So <laughs> there we go. Hey, before I let you go, as always, though, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye-bye, everybody.